بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کوشچن 2 پیپر 519700 نومبر 2024 ناو دی مین سکل ان ڈوئنگ اے پیپر 5 از ریڈنگ دی کوشچن ویری ویری کیئرفلی اے گروپ اف ایکولوجسٹ انویسٹیگیٹڈ دی بایو ڈائیورسٹی اف ٹو پیٹ بوگ ایکو سسٹمز اے اینڈ بی سو فرسٹ اف آل وی گون ٹو ٹاک اف ٹو ایکو سسٹمز اے اینڈ بی پیٹ بوگز ار ویٹ لینڈ ایکو سسٹمز دیٹ آفن کنٹین ریئر اسپیشیز فائن Figure 2.1 shows an example of a peat bog. The ecologist sampled the plant species in peat bog A and B. So we sampled the plant species. The ecologist decided to use two suitable indices of biodiversity. Simpson's index of biodiversity and Shannon diversity index. The ecologist has read that the two indices can lead to different conclusions. The Shannon diversity index gives a value of 1.5 to 3.5, 1.5, so the lesser figure is low biodiversity, and 3.5, the higher figure is high biodiversity. The results are shown in table 2.1. Now you take a lot of time and look at this peat bog A and peat bog B. Now the species L34, 30, uh, 10, 15, 11, 18. 15 and 24, 8 and 16, 7 and 8, 4 and 20, 1 and 4, 3 and 0, 3 and 0, 2 and 0. So these are all more here. There's zero here. Now this one is more here. This one is more here. This one is more here. More, more. more here more here but this one is more here so you see where some are more some are less you just go through it ponder about it and sort of go in your mind thinking about it then it says now this one was a i'm writing this here and this one was b now the simpson's index is 0.82 and this is 0.85 so this one is a little more so b has while this one is the shannon index 1.5 was low so this one is low now here and this is 2.03 so what did we see here it said 1.5 is low biodiversity and 3.5 is high biodiversity so you read the question again and then you look at it again but this is 2.03 and this is 1.96 So the Shannon index, this is low biodiversity and this is high biodiversity by that. But by the Simpson's index diversity, this is more, 0.85 and this is 0.82. So there's less, less biodiversity. So there is some sort of a discrepancy between the two. The ecologist concluded that one index indicated peat bog A has more biodiversity. This one was A and this one was B. peat bog a had more biodiversity this one shows more by but the other index is the peat bog b has more biodiversity suggest how the differences in the data in the two samples shown in table 2 may have led to the different conclusions now when you look at peat bog a and peat bog b now the number of species in a has a higher number of species and the shannon index of peat bog a has a higher shannon index peat bog a has 12 species peat bog b has only 8 species number of species richness is more important to shannon index so there is a number of species and then of course we say species richness is more important for the shannon's index Now the other point could have been peat bog B has a smaller range of species abundance. You see here we are talking of the number of each species, so species abundance, and a higher Simpson's index than the peat bog A. So you could have talked of the species abundance. You could have talked of this, which is of course species richness as well, and then you could have talked of a smaller range of species abundance. So a higher Simpson's index. Peat bog A has a higher number of species, and peat bog B has a smaller range of species abundance. So one has a higher number of species, 
and B has a smaller range of species abundance. You see most of them are zero, the T, U, V, W, and of course the other ones are also lesser, and some are more. Of course we have 34, L, and 30 uh, in the other one. So peat bog A has a higher number of species, and peat bog B has a smaller range of species abundance as a smaller range of species abundance. The very technical words. So for two marks, I mean, these are the wordings that you should have used. The wordings which are very important is the number of species, uh, which of course you can also say, number of species, you can also say species richness. Species abundance means species evenness or total number of individuals is more important to the Simpsons index. Then the B part of the question says the ecologist sampled the invertebrate species in peat bogs A and B and calculated invertebrate biodiversity using Simpsons index of diversity. The ecologist sampled invertebrate species in peat bogs A between 13 and 16 on three different days within a 30 day period. 1300 hours and 16 on three different days with a 30 day period at 10 random sites along the edge of a path in the peat bog by sampling the invertebrates with a one meter square quadrat placed in each site by using an identified identification key to identify the species by counting the number of individuals of each species. Describe how the sampling method could be improved to make sure the results are more representative of all invertebrates in the whole of peat bog A. You see the clue comes from here, 30 day period. Now whenever we're doing any ecological sampling, we must think of the different seasons, winter, summer, autumn. So sample at different times of the year, not only over one month. Then sample at night, different times of the day. Or sample at night as well, sample at sites other than along the path then use another name te technique to samples for there was some other technique that you use uh, a sweep net or some other method by which you uh, sample the invertebrates or use an expert or identification app or a guidebook instead of an identification key because we needed to identify the species So you have to really think of the question and think how are you going to make it. It said the results more representative of all the invertebrates in the whole of peat bog A. And here we were just doing it along the path. So along the path would not be a very good idea because that would not be really representative of the whole peat bog. Part 2, table 2.2 show the results of the invertebrate sampling. The formula is given. The formula is always given to you. Uh, n is the number of individuals of each species present in the sample. Total n is total number of all the individuals. Complete table 2.2 and use the formula to calculate the Simpson's index of biodiversity. So n over n. Now the formula is given to you. You just have to calculate n over the total number and then you have to do that n over n then you have to calculate the whole square of that so you got 0 0.083 please use the same number of uh, decimal places which is given in the above you always ask me this question in the comments so the number of decimal places should stay like here it's three decimal places all of it is three decimal places so 0 0.083 and 0 0.007 and then 0 0.270 is the sig, uh, sum of, and then you had to do this, you had to one minus. So one minus is 0 0.270 is 0 0.730. So this was one mark, this was two marks, and this was the third mark. Part three of the question, now we come to the last part of this paper. The ecologist calculated D value 0 0.710 for peat bog B. So 0 0.730 for A and 0 0.710 for B. Use your value of D from B2 to compare the biodiversity of peat bog A and peat bog B. Now very simple, peat bog A has higher biodiversity than B.
is slightly higher is not that high is slightly higher is slightly higher than than b so this was for 9 marks now difficult to get these marks i know paper 5 is a very difficult paper please uh, give it your best i will be giving you the exam report after this on this paper thank you very much please pause the video here and please read through this i'm not going to read through it i want you all to be reading it yourself and seeing where you went wrong and how you could improve this uh, paper 5 Here you can see credit was not awarded for repeating the information, but details of how this could be done with a pipette or a syringe were credit worthy. The strongest responses included details how to calibrate the calorimeter with distal water before taking measurements. The algal bead should be left for at least 10 minutes. Will have sufficient time for photosynthesis to take place. I think I said five minutes, but you should have left it for ten minutes. Here you cannot use the word equilibrate because respiration of the algae will immediately cause the color of the indicator to change. The term average should not be used in a scientific context. Credit was given to those candidates who stated the minimum of three measurements should be used to calculate a mean for each color. We don't use the word average in biology. Yeah, you can see these candidates consider whether each bullet point of the sampling method could be improved. Using a sweep net or a pitfall trap would allow motile invertebrates to be sampled more effectively than a quadrat. And mark release recapture, uh, this would also allow for a correct uh, accurate estimate of the number of individuals of each species.